after people have their vaccination, um, sometimes they can get some redness and some swelling and some pain at the site of the injection. There was a warning of possible side effects for 16-year-old Tilda, a young volunteer giving up her half-term holiday today to become one of the first teenagers in the world to be injected with the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. It was all fine, yeah. Better than I thought it would be. Also volunteering, Sylvia with her dad, James. Amongst 300 children recruited for the vaccine trials at four different centres in England. Afterwards, 12-year-old Sylvia told me why she'd offered to take part. I really wanted to do it because um, this virus has been destroying everyone's lives and everyone's just having a really rough time. And so if I could help a little bit, it would just make it a bit easier. Did you have any reservations at all about allowing Sylvia to take part in the trials? I think as a parent, you always have a few reservations about anything that could potentially be risky. But I've been through the clinical trials experience myself. And also, the vaccine's been given to like hundreds, thousands of people already, and it's proven to be safe. The injections were being given to children aged 6 to 17. But why take the risk of vaccinating those who don't usually get seriously ill? We want to know that there's a similar immune response um, that, so that the children are protected. Um, and we want to know what get more information about the effect of the vaccine. If the trials are successful, scientists hope vaccinating children could help to reduce the spread of the virus, another important step in the overall fight against the pandemic. Juliet Bremner, ITV News, Oxford.